Oh, Professor Clements with you here as we talk about the optics of a microscope. In uh, this situation, we're going to have an objective with a focal length of 5 centimeters, eyepiece focal length of 3 centimeters, and there's 23 centimeters separating the two lenses. Uh, we're going to put an object 6.6 .6 centimeters away from the objective. First, we'll do a ray tracing that locates the approximate uh, place where the image is, would be found. And then we'll do a calculation on uh, the overall magnification. So I'm going to attempt to do the ray tracing here. I've got kind of a small object, but that's what you look at with uh, microscopes. So I'm going to bring a line in parallel to the optic axis for lens number one. It has to exit through the focal point. And the focal points of lens one, the objective, are close to the objective. It's a short focal length lens. The focal length spec, focal points back here are for lens number two, the eyepiece, another short focal length lens. And again, ray tracings are approximate. We'll see how well we end up here. Um, Trying to start at the object, go through the center of our lens, and cross someplace in here. So that would be our first image. And now, where would the uh, eyepiece form its image? Well, I need to take a ray that uh, goes through the center of the eyepiece. This is not real realistic, but uh, nevertheless, I can consider this to be a source of light. There'd be a lot of rays in different directions coming out. So here, and then if there was a ray that uh, passed through the focal point coming down to here, that ray would come out parallel to the optic axis, and we'll trace that back to here. So our lens comes on down to there, and coming back this way, it's all approximate. I'm finding a final image that I'm pretty sure is not in the correct location, but approximately back there it is magnified compared to the object. So image one, and then the final image, image two, located here. So now let's try doing the calculation related to this. So we had up here object distance 6.6 .6 centimeters, focal length 5 centimeters. So we'll work on this lens first. So 1 over 6.6, .6, the object distance. 1 over di, or unknown, is 1 over 5. Again, you should pause the recording and on your own calculate the di value. I came up with 20.625 centimeters. Now this first image becomes the object for the second lens. Our first question would be, how far away is this object from this lens? Now 23 centimeters separates the two lenses. We have 3 centimeters to this focal point. We're 20.625 centimeters away from the first lens. So if I do a subtraction here, 23 is a separation of the two lenses. 20.625 centimeters is the distance from the first lens to the first image. I find that I'm uh, 2.375 centimeters away from this eyepiece. So in that uh, situation, we have a uh, ability to calculate the object distance as a positive 2.375 centimeters. That would be our object distance, 2.375 centimeters. And now this lens is a given focal length, 3 centimeters. We can calculate the image, so 1 over 2.375 minus 1 over di equals 1 over 3. Again, you should pause and uh, calculate di for yourself. 
I came up with di of minus 11.4, that minus sign telling me that the image is on the left side of the lens. Well, that's in agreement with the ray tracing. The number here, 11.4, is a little bit further back. But uh, at least the ray tracing has the image on the correct side of the lens. And now let's do the calculation of the magnification. So we have magnification of lens number one. Again, we always have a minus sign in the calculation of magnification. Then I have the image distance, 20.265, or sorry, 625, 625 for the decimals. An object distance of 6.6. .6. For the second lens, there's always a minus sign, minus di over do is magnification. The image distance is negative 11.4, and our object for the second lens, 2.375. If you look at those two calculations, you'll observe one thing here. The first lens has some magnification, and the eyepiece also has some magnification. Both lenses in this simple microscope um, create magnification. And I multiplied this out, and I came up with 15 as the magnification number. Is it minus 15 or plus 15? Well, if you look here, we've got an odd count of minus signs. It's a minus 15. So this microscope is not great, but it makes an image that's 15 times larger than the object. And again, very similar to what we did with two lenses working together. We calculate where the image is located for the first lens. That becomes the object for the second lens. Before you can do the calculation, 1 over DO plus 1 over DI equals 1 over F, you must do an intermediate calculation and find out how far is this first image from the second lens. That becomes your object distance for the second lens. And then using the given uh, focal length of the second lens, we calculated the image location. So keep practicing and ask your instructor questions.